in our program. We'd like to thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, he'll support us in our efforts. Um, our, our mission is to educate, advocate, and for, for the protection of citizens uh, through education and information. And our motto is local politics makes a difference. John, um, today's our topic is going to be about the mixing. The mixing. The mixing, yes. Yeah, Headline in the post. The mixing might face the wrecking ball. Yeah. Um, I have another article here that says renters must move out due to structural issues in North Charleston apartments. The mixing. Structural issues. It, it's surprising. I went to the mixing and spent some time with the residents there and actually spoke with uh, uh, some of them at length. And it appears that they're trying to camouflage a much larger issue. They say it is structural, but when you have the city who comes in and evaluates and inspects, and then two years later they come back and say, well, what we said was okay, and they received all the accolades and awards, now we're saying there's some major structural issues so much that they got to move out immediately. Right. You have to look further than that. You have to look further. Yeah. Particularly when they talk about the mold issue, uh -huh. the largest one of the largest lawsuits ever in the history of America was about mold mm -hmm. in insurance companies. So it appears that what they're trying to do is to camouflage a health hazard dealing with mold. You know that deals with your lungs, mm -hmm. and trying to basically wipe away all evidence with a wrecking ball. Mm -hmm of a mold issue when those things could already be prevalent with some of the people who are living there and um, destroy the evidence. It's a mold issue. It's not a structural issue. And it's a, the, the, this, this um, apartment complex is only three years old. Right. And how many residents? Um, almost 400 residents. And some of them they give two weeks to move. Some uh -huh. of them they give 30 days. But well, they got, well, according to the article that they have until the end of this month, this is May. Yeah, here's the caveat. That if they accept $500 and if they sign a waiver to bring no lawsuits against them, then they can get the $500 in order to move out. Well, $500 is not going to even pay for the U-Haul. But when you're talking about a waiver so that you don't sue them, there's no structural damage that's caused anything to fall on them. So why would you be signing a waiver to not sue them if there has been no structural problems that have... Um, caused any detriment. It is the future lawsuit against the medical issues. Oh, mm. uh, yeah. 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 And that can be long-lasting. Uh, residents must remove all belongings and vacate their units by May the 31st at 6 p.m. A right. moving allowance will be provided according to the mixing letter. Well, they're not telling the public, but public, but they're telling the residents $500. But in order to get that, you have to sign away you're right to bring on any action in the future. Oh, yeah. But in the future, we're going to put the wrecking ball on this thing so we can destroy all the evidence. Mm -hmm. Now, this was, an issue, uh, this was a, uh, an issue with the campaign, John, because what's the percentage of whites living in the mixing? And, and by the way... And those the, are transplant whites, the majority of the people who come from out of town. Right. And um, the, by the way, the mixing is a pretty nice upscale um, you know, area. But what was there before that? Well, it was Liberty Homes, which is um, was a low, it was a, a black neighborhood, mm -hmm. and uh, now they only surround the mixing. Mm -hmm. It makes no sense um, unless you have the city, the bank, uh, an employing agency, and the contractor to get together to say we're going to take this property, and in the middle of where rent can only uh, come up to about five hundred dollars. We're going to charge $1,200 for a one bedroom. Mm -hmm. That can only happen if you've got people who have gotten together to determine how much the people are going to make, mm -hmm. where they're going to live, mm -hmm. uh, where the jobs are going to come right. from. Well, this is just part of the program called gentrification. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, in this case, it seems to be uh, backfiring. Yeah. yeah. It seems to be backfiring. Right. But everybody's talking about the intrusion of the water. But nobody's talking about where it's coming from and why. Why the moisture? Why all of the um, the um, the mold and the mildew? And I'm wondering if they're collecting samples. 
Well, I would say that it was a rush to develop this mixing. Oh, of course. And it was rushed to develop the mixing because Mayor Semi, he needs more votes. People are becoming more aware of his uh, antics and aware of the things that he's been doing um, to this economy, at least as far as um, African Americans are concerned. Here's the, here's the caveat that while the apartments right next door are so structurally unsound that they must be torn down right away, all of the homes are absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. And when you take a look, when you take a look at <clears throat> being right next door, this is where Summy Way is, mm -hmm. where you can literally stand in the street and touch the front door. Mm -hmm. um, you've got a situation where the homeowners, of course, can bring action against them. Mm -hmm. Whereas when you're in a rental situation, all you can do mm -hmm. is take the 30 days and move. Mm -hmm. And that's what's been going around in our neighborhood. When we look at the um, Ashley Shores, when you look at Liberty Homes, Calhoun Homes, uh, the recent one down Dorchester Road uh, by Ashley Phosphate, when you're in a rental situation, and the average black, we you know, makes 24000 mm -hmm. they can't afford to purchase, mm -hmm. they can move you in 30 days whenever they get ready. Mm -hmm. But when you have ownership, they stay away from you. They stay away from you. So that's why in the same footprint, all of it was supposed to be the very same housing, but they decided they were going to do the apartments. But uh, multi, they wanted to yeah. do multi-family. Multi well, they could pack more people in. Pack more people in. Yeah, sure. Pack more people in. But, um, you know, when you're talking, they've set the stage already for uh, the wrecking ball to come in and to destroy the evidence mm -hmm. that deals, in my opinion, with a mold issue, a lung issue, possibly a mesothelioma because of the asbestos and that kind of stuff. So when you come in and say they've got to move, but it's nothing immediately, but you've got to get out in 30 days. You well, know, it's, 30 it's, days, John, is immediate. <coughs> absolutely. That's immediate. Well, some of them only got two weeks. Right. Some mm -hmm. of them only got two weeks. They said you got to get out of here right now, mm -hmm. as if the place was going to fall down. But yet they say it's not a short-term problem. It's a long-term problem. Well, if it's long term, why are you talking about tearing it down? Yeah, they got to tear it down. They but nobody's down. still talking about whether or not it's foundational. Mm -hmm. How is the water getting in? Mm -hmm. And it's coming from the bottom up. Because right. when you take a look, it's the baseboards um, where the mold is starting, so that's where the water is. Wow. Those are the kinds of things that. Um, it's unfortunate, but the same tactics and practices they've been using in our neighborhoods that has previously affected African Americans are now affecting whites in the neighborhood, which is why it should have been stopped a long time ago when it affected primarily African Americans, because eventually greed has uh, no preference in terms of color. It gets around to everybody, and this basically was to throw them up, get a bunch of money, to get a bunch of votes to come in from the outside so that we can uh, change the constituency base to be predominantly white versus African American. Right. And here is, here is the backlash. So right. most of them are going down to Westcott, where we remember Aaron Brockovich came because they were allowing people to move into locations right. without even having a CO uh, completed on the property. Uh, city, what does city planning have to do with this? Well, city planning, they had to first go to city planning before they could give any kind of approval mm -hmm. to do a, a structure. Right. Before you get your building permit, you have to have um, approval from planning who goes out and takes a look at, um, one, whether or not you can even put what you are requesting on that site. Mm -hmm. So in this case, they allow them to do a PUD, and the PUD says basically you can do what you want. You right. can build as close to the street as you want. There are no setbacks. Uh, and as a result, the But you can do it here. Right. This house. Right. <laughs> right. So the footprint is such that you can jam a lot of people onto a small location. Mm -hmm. Now they're saying that the, um, the loads that they're designed for uh, are, are, um, are out of tolerance. That the total load of the building and the equipment in it is insufficient, and the lateral load is insufficient. So if you get a wind that's coming from the side, then 
it's going to blow it over. Oh, wow. Wow. Now, they had a certificate of occupancy. Sure. So how does, uh, you know, don't the, don't, aren't there tests or uh, things that they have to be? But the there? city always says that um, even though we've done the inspection, basically we can't be here liable. <laughs> so they gave us a certificate of occupancy. Yeah, On a building yeah. of three years, we're talking about, they, it's, it's less than four years. They had this certificate of occupancy because the building's in two years on some level. We've got the same uh, building official who is responsible for approving now comes back to say that everything is wrong. Wait a minute, buddy. You just approved it. Well, you and your department. Somebody need to get fired. Well, um, I doubt that's going to happen. Not because someone shouldn't, but because the way this process works is we're going to make them do the approval to let people move in. But yet, if there's a problem later on, we'll use that person as the fall guy mm -hmm. to make them come back and say that, well, uh, everything is not up to code. So why are you going to find the person that you can use like a puppet on a string? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. It's not going to happen. Yeah, not going to happen. And that's not just in that department. It's in many departments. Yeah. Well, behind us all, um, you have to look at the top. You have to look at the top. You know, oh yeah, it yeah, comes from the top down, yeah, and it's unfortunate that it's happened that you've got um, you got families being uprooted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, families being uprooted, and now when they mention the fact that a wrecking ball is coming in, that decision's already made. Mm -hmm. Much like the uh, school system, that we'll talk about that as well. Mm -hmm. When they say that uh, we may make a decision to let go some of these APs. The decision's already been made mm -hmm. to let them go. Right. And uh, they've already been given contracts for teachers' positions, $40,000 a year cuts. But yet they say, what? Well, you know, we haven't made a decision yet. You've already put the contracts out for the people to sign. And the same here that government needs to be more transparent, held to be accountable, and they need to have greater integrity with explaining things to the people. Thank you. Absolutely. It's not happening. Not happening. Well, um, we suggest that if you live in the North Charleston area, the Charleston area, please read the article that's in the Post and Courier. Not that I trust the Post and Courier, John. It's not the most reliable, you know, source of information. I would agree, but at least they've thrown some of the issues out on the table. Yeah, yeah. There's other issues on the table that's not, that's not known. That's not unknown. And the Chronicle, I'm sure the Chronicle's going to do an issue. Um, I subscribe to the Chronicle because it is a, a weekly paper and yeah, it's, it, black um, it's black owned and it, um, it talks about the issues that are relevant to us. Great. Great. Well, our time is up. Uh, we appreciate you um, watching our show. Um, please uh, subscribe, like, and share this video. Uh, comments. Uh, if you